What is going on guys? Welcome back to my second channel. Today we are here at Rev River Range, which by the way guys, you need to go check out their social medias. They're on Facebook, they're on all kinds of stuff. We're gonna link it down in the description down below. Go check it out, drop a like on all that for me. But today we've got a new 300 Blackout build that I just now got finished assembling. This is an Aero Precision Upper. We've got your standard lower SB Tactical rear brace on this thing, angle foregrip. And uh, as you guys see here today, obviously we're shooting 300 Blackout. So we've got some subsonic and we've got my new suppressor here. So it should be pretty cool. We've also I got a Mi Pro uh, M21 reflex sight up top, which is really cool. So I actually just now filled out all of my suppressor tax stamp and everything about a month ago now, um, and I kind of wanted to keep it a secret, but I figured why not just go ahead and make a video with it, being that we do have early access to this thing here at Red River. The reason why is, is I went ahead, filled everything out, ordered the suppressor, they got it in here, and technically being that I'm in the walls of this building, I'm able to shoot with this, I just can't take it home until my tax stamp comes back. But I did see my bank account got withdrawn by the ATF, which means that everything did, I believe, go through. So we're just looking at about two to four months, roughly, I think is the timeline now, until I can actually take this thing home, which is gonna be real cool. So anyways, like I said, I've got this 300 Blackout pistol that I built. Uh, today, I wanted to come over here and test it out because I've got this subsonic, pretty cool little ammo. I haven't ever gotten to shoot anything suppressed except for a 5.56 a few weeks ago. This is gonna be the second time shooting suppressed on anything. And like I've been saying for a while, I wanted to build a 300 Blackout because it is so quiet with suppressed subsonic ammo. This is a Silencer Co. Omega. This is a really cool suppressor. Reason why it's really neat is it's got these little attachable muzzle brakes. Um, you can use it as a flash hider muzzle brake, whatever. And they thread on just like your typical muzzle brake. But the cool thing about it is that it's threaded. So whenever you want to attach your suppressor, instead of threading that thing on 100 turns, however much, you've got these real nice, just quick attach suppressors. So you can thread it on a few times, lock it down into place, and you are good to shoot, which is really neat. So same thing if you want to remove it. Unlock your little collar at the bottom, spin it off a few times, and it's off, and you can even still fire it non-suppressed, being that you've got this nice little break here. So, pretty cool suppressor, I'd say. Show you guys 300 Blackout. It's pretty much a 5.56, but up front, you've got this nice 30 caliber round there. This has a lot more energy than a 5.56, so it does have a little bit more takedown, if you want to call it that. Uh, it does have a lot more muzzle drop, though, or, sorry, bullet drop, and uh, it's got a lot less penetration power, but it's still a really cool round, nonetheless, especially suppressed. It's supposed to be real quiet, so as you can hear, it is really silent here. That's why you probably hear the echo. So we should be able to get some very accurate testing with this thing to show you guys how it sounds. First run with this gun, I wanna shoot a few times unsuppressed just so we can get the idea of how loud this actually is. Throw the suppressor on it and I'll show you guys what it sounds like suppressed. It is absolutely incredible. So all that we're gonna be shooting today is subsonic rounds, which are already a little bit quieter than supersonic. So it does help out a little bit. Even unsuppressed, these subsonics are gonna be significantly quieter than a supersonic round would be. But I still wanna test no suppressor and also with the suppressor. So hopefully this is a good comparison. This is again, the first suppressor that I've ever owned and this is the first setup that I've ever gotten to shoot with suppressed so should be pretty cool So I'll load up our mag unsuppressed 300 blackout subsonic rounds Still pretty loud <laughs> take our suppressor now and quickly, just like I showed you, something really neat about that silencer co. Throw it on there a few times till it's tight, back it off a tiny bit, and tighten down our lock collar. And there we go. So that is locked in place, ready to shoot. That simple. So this is 300 blackout, subsonic, and suppressed. It's about to be so quiet. Oh my oh god. My god. <laughs> Pretty crazy. Wow. I wasn't expecting If to it's that just quiet. us in here, can we take ears off? Sure. Since you are shooting some friends. Okay. okay. Wow. That's crazy. Non-existent recoil. Yeah, so that's the good thing about suppressors also. It gives you a lot more weight on the muzzle. As you see, balancing the rifle right here. It feels like somebody's just pushing you with their fingers. So the cool thing about this is that this is actually an AR pistol in 300 Blackout. So um, what determines that it is an AR pistol is some more junky California laws, pretty much, honestly. Uh, we've got a nice 8-inch barrel on here. As you guys see, this is an SB Tactical Brace, which still confuses me how this is for a pistol, not a rifle. I don't, I don't know, but they've even got like law folders that you can get for the back of here and can actually fold this over. And with that that small, what's nice is that you can completely fold that rear stock over, unscrew your suppressor real quick, and this all stuffs in a backpack for really nice, easy transport. I wish that I had a decibel meter. Honestly, that would have been really cool if we could have brought a decibel meter. Got an app. actual Ooh. decibel meter. Check that out. <laughs> Oh, okay. We've got a decibel meter reading now. We're gonna load up another mag. I wanna shoot a few through it and we'll see what it's testing at. Oh, that even, that even brought it up to 96. Me putting the mag in was at 96. Okay, me dropping the bolt was 111 decibels. Now let's shoot it. 
119. Eight decibels higher than the bolt closing on the rifle. That should give you an idea. If the mic doesn't pick it up, at least that will show you how quiet it actually is. I think what's neat to me is the fact that even inside, even inside of these walls right here, we tested at 119 decibels and it's not loud at all to the ear, but what's interesting is imagine if we were actually outdoors, you can shoot shotguns outside with no ear protection sometimes at 12 gauge even, and you'll notice that it sounds significantly quieter outside compared to indoors obviously. So it's funny to think about how loud, quote unquote, it is in here compared to how it would be outdoors, which is pretty cool because it's already practically silent. Let me move this out a little bit more. Yeah, this is cool. <laughs> I am in love. This is why I didn't want to do this though, is because I knew as soon as we came up here and test fired the new suppressor with this 300 blackout, I built this specifically for this suppressor. I actually bought the suppressor about a month before I started this build. Yeah, so I just now that they're together, I don't want to separate them again, but unfortunately until my tax stamp comes in, I'm going to have to take it off and leave it here. It's pretty cool though. Like I said, if you guys want to check out Red River on Facebook, Instagram, anything like that, you can go click the links in the description down below. Um, but I think one of the coolest things that they offer is the fact that you can keep this here in there safe and come up here anytime and shoot with your suppressor. So it's pretty neat. Let me run another mag through it. All right, I don't want this to go away. I want to keep it, I want to take it home. <laughs> cool thing about this suppressor again, pull off your little lock ring just like that, and the suppressor will unthread, but this thing is very, very hot still, so I'm gonna leave it on. Well guys, that is the new 300 Blackout pistol build. Again, huge thanks to Red River Range. Like I said, if you want to go check out their social media or give them a like on Facebook, click the link down in the description down below. We're gonna leave the suppressor here, but we will be coming back for this thing once that tax stamp clears in about two to four months. With that being said, guys, thank you so much for watching. This is gonna be a wrap for today's video. If you have not already hit subscribe, subscribe down below. Until next video. This is the rise, yeah. Look them in the eyes. Middle fingers up in the sky when we roll by. Stop and look. Everybody wanna act like they know what's up in my life. Yeah, you don't know shit, dog. Here's in the drama like a bitch, dog. Quit with the